We are saying goodbye to my empty apartment because today is delivery day. excited half sad for today because I don't know I feel like this whole empty apartment era was very iconic it's been fun laying down on the carpet because I have no couch I'm still not gonna have a couch for a while because I've run into some issues with that we'll talk about it later basically today is delivery day I'm getting so much furniture delivered today because I did a very juicy big order uh, to order furniture on Crane Barrel and get it shipped to Hawaii, you had to meet a certain price quota. So I kind of went insane and a ton, a ton of furniture is getting delivered today. A coffee table, a TV console, a bookshelf, an accent chair, an office chair, and a mirror is arriving today. That is a lot of shit to build. Uh, that part I'm not looking forward to, but I've been waiting for this to arrive for almost a month and a half now. It was such a journey finding stuff that was in stock because a lot of the stuff that I wanted was like, you'll get it in August. <sighs> it's just insane. I'm gonna have no more empty apartment. I don't know why I'm like sad about this. You think I'd be all happy. I don't know why I'm like, aw. Here's the last looks of my empty living room. I'm so excited for you guys to see my vision of how I'm going to stage this. I hope it turns out looking good just because I've only kind of planned it out in my head, so we will see. But this is gonna be the main transformation. Also, some of the furniture is going in my office, which as you guys know, I haven't really done much to the office yet. I'm sad. <laughs> okay, delivery men are coming. Let's get out of my pajamas. Here is my delivery day outfit. I definitely need to clear out this area since there's gonna be tons of furniture coming through. So we need to clear that for the delivery people. Should probably also move this. Yesterday was a very big laundry day and this is honestly so convenient. I will link it down below. This has been very nice in drying clothes. It's just like a wooden drying rack. I also need to put a band-aid on my finger because I gashed it cutting bread a few days ago and it's still healing, so. Cute. My brain is still waking up. It's currently 9.10, so they are coming pretty early, which I'm honestly glad because I feel like I'll have the rest of the day to start building some stuff. I don't know how much building is gonna happen today just because, like I told you, there's so much coming. I should definitely eat. Yes, hi. They are coming. Do I have time to eat this? Yeah, maybe. Ah! Um, I am stressed. Guys, this is literally insane. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm so nervous. I'm really hoping everything made it here safely just because this furniture had a very long journey. This is the last time you're gonna see me in an empty apartment. Do something entertaining. Oh, <gasps> the way I don't know how to get down. Oh my God. Look, she's shaking. She's shaking <laughs> from excitement. <laughs> Do you need my help? is a little broken, but they're gonna be taking it back. I think like this part ripped off during shipping, which I kind of expected at least something to happen, honestly, just because how far it was being shipped. And I'm honestly not that upset about it. They're just gonna leave it here until the new one comes. So we have a mirror. Oh my goodness. I am losing my mind over this one. I am so excited with how this looks. It's a bookshelf. I think this is called like grass cloth material. It is so beautiful, exactly what I pictured and what I wanted. I'm so excited to decorate this. This will stay kind of in this area, but that is so exciting. They are putting together my desk chair outside right now. I am so shocked 
but happy and excited that everything is coming assembled. Like I said, they are literally building my desk chair out there. I didn't realize I was paying for that as well. I thought I was just paying to get it shipped here. So far so good. Fingers crossed that the rest of the furniture looks okay. Just because like I said, you never know since it's being shipped all the way over here, but I am so happy with how it looks. The hallway is literally filled with all of my furniture. There's like four more things they need to bring inside. <laughs> This is the last furniture piece. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. What? It's almost together, like. It's, it just needs a couch. It just needs a couch and you're done. Wow, what the heck. I got two chairs for the office. Oh! Okay, let's do this one first. This is gonna be where I sit the most, just because all my computer stuff. Okay, good posture. <laughs> this is interesting. The arms are a little low, but it's just so cute. Yeah, I like I'm it obsessed. a lot. It matches the whole vibe that I'm clearly going for. I think this is the part I'm most excited about. That one looks really comfortable. Can you imagine me like doing a book video right here? Can you imagine? You just need to get some like art behind Yeah, you. oh my gosh, absolutely. I haven't, honestly, I haven't thought about like decorating stuff yet. But mark my words, this will be where a lot of iconic book videos happen. Wow, this setup is so cute. That's from Target. Oh, this is really comfortable. Right? Yeah. Just the shape of it is so nice. Okay. Yay, I'm obsessed, you guys. This is the current state of the living room. It is so, so pretty. Obviously, we're just waiting for a couch, which will go right here. How insane, I've literally been waiting for this for so long. It's crazy to see it like finally in here. Coffee table books can finally go on an actual coffee table. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> I honestly underestimated how big this coffee table was. I could definitely have gone with something smaller, but it is beautiful regardless. I will figure out how to decorate it later. I have a lot of space to work with, but wow. I'm having a very strong feminine urge to decorate this, even though I don't really have the decorations I want for it yet, so. You know what, comment down below how I should deal with this coffee table. I feel like it's literally so big that I obviously don't wanna put shit everywhere, but I definitely want it to be aesthetic coffee table vibes. So let me know what you think I should do. These are the books that I got. We got an Italian cookbook, deli cookbook. So, so cute, come on. We've got a impressionism art book, which I am actually so excited about. Beautiful, beautiful. And to top it all off, we have a super sourdough how to make bread at home video. Or not video, hello? Book, which I would love to make my own bread at home one day. We are not there yet. I still haven't made it past pasta and like maybe chicken, but one day, that's the goal. I have no idea what I'm doing. Wow, I do need to get a TV at some point. Maybe next week I will do that. I have to figure out what size will fit in between this. I think this is my favorite piece that came other than the accent chair. This is so beautiful. I'm so excited to decorate this. I also don't know what I should put on this wall. So let me know since there's kind of a lot of empty space. Let me know what you think I should put right here. The mirror is being exchanged. Like I said, a part in the back is broken, but otherwise I'm so, so happy with it. I'm also probably gonna put like a tall plant right here. This is so insane. My living room filled with furniture, even though it's not decorated, it still looks so good. I would love your feedback on what you think I should do decorations wise if you have any ideas for that space on the wall how I should decorate the bookshelves obviously with books but I don't want to have every single shelf be books so let me know how you think I should decorate this the coffee table should I put anything on the TV console other than the TV or even if you just have any decor ideas because the walls are very plain and I would love to add some more color into this space. I would appreciate any feedback that you have. I am in awe seeing this place starting to come together. It is so crazy. <gasps> the echo kind of went away a little bit too. I'm so sad. <laughs> what are you watching? Mm, the football game actually. You watch football? No. <laughs> I was like, I swear you don't watch that. <laughs> I'm so happy. I wanna get a TV now. I want my couch to come so badly. Did I tell the couch story already? I feel like I already did because I was about to start talking and I realized that I feel like I've said this before. I'll just say it quickly. Anyway, that's my couch story. Moving on. Here's the current state 
of the office the last clip you guys saw of the office before furniture came it was so messy but last night i broke down all the boxes i took everything out so my books are literally just sitting and honestly why does this look beautiful like why do i love the way this looks okay noted obviously this is not going to stay here but i just threw everything on i also started organizing some of the drawers and put like my camera stuff away. I just wanted to clear out the area before they came today. I am so, so, so obsessed with this. I picked this up from Target when I went shopping there before I moved out and I picked this out because I was like, wow, this is such a steal. It was a really good price and it's so cute as a little accent table. I am more than obsessed with this lamp. I got it from West Elm. It is worth it. It is so cute. It looks beautiful, especially at night when it's lit up. I still have yet to work on hanging up clothes here. I would love to make this a really colorful little focal point of the room and decorate it with some really cute clothing pieces. As for the desk, I have not organized it at all, so. That's why this area kind of just looks a little messy. I'm so excited because I feel like I can finally film and use the office. The last few weeks of living here, I haven't been able to do my work in here just because there was nowhere to sit. But now it's starting to come together, which is so nuts. I just know I'm gonna be spending so much time in here. <sighs> this is my new workplace, which is nuts. And I'm so excited that I get to curate it to be a very beautiful, inspiring place. So happy. I am mixing quite a few different wood tones in this apartment, which I know isn't for everyone, but I really like it. I didn't want to decorate this apartment with a cookie cutter style, I guess. I don't know if that's like the right wording to use, but I don't know, for some reason in my head, I just thought mixing woods would look so pretty. It's very different. I definitely wanted to add some color with my furniture since everything in here is so white with all the white walls. Everything is very bright. I wanted to add some good wood tones and I decided to mix woods, which I think looks really, really cute. My kitchen is very messy because <laughs> I have my drying rack for laundry in there right now, but yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I just love the look of all the mixed woods. This is so weird. I can't believe there's furniture. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna shut up about it after this, but I am still in a little bit of shock here. I have been so focused on all the furniture stuff that I haven't really thought about decor or decorating too much. I have an idea of like the color scheme that I want. I definitely love greens, sages, little pops of color is really nice. There's just so much I can do. There's so much wall space. I feel like there's a lot of good options, different ideas, different ways we can go with this. I definitely need to clean up. I definitely need to eat some food. So we're gonna clean this space up, put all my clothes away, get the place looking back to normal and also make some breakfast, brunch, lunch. been enough time between the last time I had coffee and right now but I have found a recipe that literally is so good I crave it every second of the day I don't know how good that is for me but it's fine I'm using the Nespresso that Best Buy got me and the other one the one that I bought myself broke I was reading some comments from you guys that were saying the one that I got is prone to like overheating and stuff so I definitely need to either exchange it or I don't know just contact them but anyway I have this backup because Best Buy sent it which is so so sweet thank you Best Buy the pods I've been using are the Starbucks espresso roast this blue pod color and then I heat up my oat milk and the creamer that I use, which is literally life-changing, is this all-natural almond milk creamer with vanilla. It is so good. It is the most perfect vanilla latte, and I just put it in the milk frother to make it warm. Ow. I, I probably shouldn't do that. Amazing. So, I put a little bit of creamer in here. Take my oat milk, froth that up and let this do its thing. Then, once that is done, I take the milk frother. This is all nice and warm. Cheers, I have not gotten coffee out in so long because this that I make at home is literally just perfect. This is my favorite recipe right now. Cuddle, cuddle, 
cuddle. Oh. <laughs> Clearly, I am back home. I'm cuddling with Coda right now. This is our favorite spot to sit. I have a photo shoot tomorrow morning that's on the opposite side of the island that my apartment is, so it's just easier if I stay at my house tonight with Coda Bear. Little bedroom update. This is what she's looking like. My mom added this cute little nightstand. I think she found it from Ross or TJ Maxx and she added that there. I just have some of my stuff sitting over here and then I love how the desk looks right here. I am about to take Coda on the walk of his life, which is literally the highlight of coming home, plus my mom cooking for me. Very excited about that. <laughs> Can you hear Coda whining? Coda, I'll be down soon. Is it weird to see me back here? Let me know your thoughts because it is weird vlogging in here again. I have been trying to go home once a week, but it's been like twice a week. I don't know, it's just very easy to come here. I forgot how close I moved. It's really not that bad of a drive, especially if I do it during the right time of day. So depending on traffic, it'll be maybe 25 minutes. If there's traffic, it'll be like 45 to an hour. It just depends, but it's very, very close. So it's so convenient that I can literally come home whenever. And it's very nice that my parents welcome me to come home whenever. And I love visiting Coda, love visiting my parents. So it's very fun. I'm gonna change into these shorts. We're gonna take Coda for a little walk. Do you want to go on a walk? Yes or no? Here. Good boy. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so perfect. You are so photogenic. <gasps> you ready to go? Let's go. 